methane gas capture this vessel to come out. This hose through here, uh, through this backflow preventer for safety, light this Bunsen burner, boil this water. So <clears throat> the way this is set up, uh, we have an outer pail, and uh, I try to use uh, as many recyclable products as possible. So we have a, just a five gallon paint can. So this was obviously used before. The contents was cleaned up, recycled. And uh, so you have, have just a regular uh, outer bucket. Inside the bucket, you take a um, clear water jug. And this was in the process of, of being recycled at a local uh, hardware store refill. So somewhere in the cycle, um, what you do, you, you cut the bottom of this off. And so this slides down uh, inside of this. You don't slide it down tight. It's supposed to float in there. And the idea, uh, once it floats in there, before you put this in, uh, you put plant materials in the bottom. Um, they say the best plant materials in the bottom are, are uh, water-type plants. Um, I used um, uh, pond scum, if you will. It was, it was, water, it was water plants. Um, growing on top of the local pond, and then uh, corn husk, the uh, leaves off the corn top. So put those in the bottom, you fill up to about here, cut those up finely because it decomposes quicker because it's the smaller pieces, and then you take, um, uh, you have water to it, and the mixture is about, about three quarters uh, full here. Now the water, you want to have a non-chlorinated water. Um, so I harvest rainwater, you can get distilled water, but harvesting rainwater is uh, pretty plentiful, so collected the rainwater in a separate five-gallon jug, uh, filled my plant material up to here, add the rainwater up to about here. Once you do that, you take the um, clear container, slide it down into here, but you don't bind it in here, you want to be able to have a flow. Uh, at the top of the jug, I have, um, there, there's two assemblies, you have a cap assembly here. This is open at the top. You slide this cap assembly inside here and seal it. I'm going to have that airtight seal. And then inside of that, you take this water faucet, screw it into your, your cap, and then from there, uh, there's a rigid gas hose here. Uh, slid into the end of this, tighten it up, it all kind of tightens up and seals. We have a, an airtight connection from here up through the cap into the, this assembly here. So a couple things I learned about this, this seal and this cap here. Um, you're supposed to use the sealant at this point where it slides in here. Most sealants are pretty toxic. So I did find one at the store. It wasn't very good, unfortunately. It was a um, OVOC adhesive sealant by Loctite. Um, after sitting in the sun for about a week and a half, it deteriorated from sunlight, so I had to apply a little bit more, and put the tape around it, and that seemed to help. Uh, so just be cautious on that. Um, around the threads of the, the faucet, I'm using Teflon tape. And then um, these materials were bought new, uh, but most metals these days are, are produced from uh, recycled material. So the hope was that, that even though this was a new product manufactured, um, there was a high content of recycled material in here, as well as the uh, cap. So the idea is, is once uh, this sits out in the sun, and this is clear so the sunlight can kind of beat down on this, uh, I found a sunny spot on my lawn. I took the, um, actually propped up the bottom uh, so it faced the sun a little more. And uh, it sits out in the sun anywhere from three to four weeks. And the idea is uh, the decomposing plant material will fill up this hollow cavity. And this, this thing's hollow from about here up where, where there's no material water or plant in. And, um, and then it gets captured here. You have a, a valve that turns on and off here, opens and closes this. So this is closed. Um, you, you expel it twice during the process of creating this gas. And the reason is 
uh, the content of, of methane, the concentration of methane, uh, isn't very high when first off gas the plant. So they say to let it uh, build up for about a week, open the valve, shove this down, kind of exhaust the gas out of there, uh, do that a second time, and then a third time, let it build up anywhere from like three to four weeks in the sun. So the idea is right now, this has been, this is set out in the sun for just exactly a month, and um, uh, hopefully there's gases that are trapped in here that have a pretty high methane content. And ultimately the idea is to create a, a burnable gas, in other words methane in this case, um, to boil water, to cook food, uh, for, for some uh, function, and it's a, it's a naturally occurring process where composted material plants can be, um, you're, you're not throwing it into a landfill and you're using the uh, products off that. So, uh, so the idea will be, and uh, we're connected all, all the way to this Bunsen burner here. If I can get a little assistance over here. Yeah, I think what we want to do is maybe have at least some of you move to the other side so you can see it. And, uh, and then, yeah, he's gonna need a volunteer to uh, light the Bunsen burner. Um. <laughs> so, so what what we should see is you should, Paul, you should open it up slowly, and then uh, we should, hopefully we'll see bubbles in the backflow preventer. Uh, and once you see that, Nick, you should um, yeah you can pull the Bunsen burner out, and and then you put the sparker right over the top of it to light it. So you you can pull it out from underneath the uh, that. Thing if it's in your way. Yeah. So the idea is the valve is now open. We push down on it. Well, I, you just created some pressure. Ooh, you got liquid. It's pushing the water. Interesting. Well, why don't you close it up and let's try it ourselves? Uh, or test it. I'm going to pause this. Go. All right. So the idea, open the valve. Yes, it's bubbling. Keep sparking. <laughs> Come on, doctor. Oh, we got backflow. Oh, look at it go. Uh, well, Oh, it's not sparking anymore. Do you have another? You have a lighter? A lighter? <laughs> uh, I, I think you just uh, used up all your gas. I think I did. Well, at least we know that you, pr you produced gas. I did. It's still going. We may not know what kind. Yeah, let me zoom in on the bubbles yes. here. Just to prove that. Oh, yeah, look at it go. No lighters in here? Good, we don't have any smokers. <laughs> Actually, <I do. laughs> okay. well, get over there, light it <laughs> before it runs out of gas. <laughs> That's a sweet lighter. Yeah, it is. I'm scared. I don't think there's any risk of explosion now. There's not enough methane left. <laughs> it's here, here it comes some. <laughs> we got gas. We don't know if it's useful gas. We had, we had gas. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thanks, Paul. Yeah. <laughs>